Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a TBR video. So in the month of March, things are going to be a little bit different. So I am going to be having my regular March TBR, which will be going up next week, as well as a readathon TBR, which is what today's video is. So in the month of March, I am participating in a readathon called March Mystery Madness. I'm going to leave all the details that you guys need to know for this readathon down below if you guys are interested in joining. But this is pretty much a 31 day aka one month readathon that spans from March 1st to the 31st and pretty much the goal if you guys couldn't tell by the title of the readathon is to read horrors slash mysteries or horror all throughout those 31 days so I if you guys saw my 2018 goals video which I'll have on the screen for you guys to go check out if you haven't already one of my goals was to read more thrillers this year and so far I've been doing somewhat of a decent job but this month I really wanted to make an aim to read more so without further ado I'm going to jump right in and tell you guys what books I plan on reading the for this prom readathon so is for new and this could be your newest YA book release that you were waiting for it could be a new to you author a new um, new series you want to start or in my case you can pick up your newest book that you have picked up from you know your local library your local thrift store barnes and noble wherever you guys buy your books so for this i am going with and then there were none by agatha christie i read murder on the orient express in december and i really liked it it wasn't my favorite thing in the world but i did really like it so I really want to continue on with Agatha Christie's work because I think her writing style is fantastic. And this is definitely one of her more popular works, if along with Murder, Murder on the Orient Express. This is a adult mystery that follows ten characters who are stranded on a desert island with a mysterious host that don't know who that is, I believe. And one by one they're all killed off. That is not a spoiler, it's in the synopsis. So... Yeah, a lot of people have been picking this up lately, so I want to know what I think, because Murder on the Orange Express was definitely one of my favorite books I read last year, so hopefully I will continue on with it. Really the like this next well. prompt is for historical, so for the book I chose, I don't think this technically counts as mystery, but it does have mystery elements to it, and the book I chose is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Now technically this is historical fiction, but like I said, it has mystery elements to it. This is a YA historical fiction that follows our main character Audrey Rose, who lives in Victorian London at the time of Jack the Ripper, who is a very famous serial killer. All his killings are going on, and she is studying under her uncle to be a mortician, and she pretty much, as the title implies, stalks Jack the Ripper to try out figure out who his true identity is. I've been hearing fantastic things about this since it was released a couple of years ago, so I definitely want to know what the hype is all about and jump the into it. The next one is for Borrowed, and for this I'm going with Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. This was actually my good friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles' book club book of the month for the month of February, and she's actually one of the hosts, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I will link all of the host channels down below. And I don't know anything about this book. But I know it's also getting a lot of fantastic reviews, so definitely going to check this and see what I think. Because, like I said, I really don't know anything about it, which is how I'm going into most The next of these one books. is for Shelf, and this is going to be a book you've had on your TBR shelf the longest. For this, I'm going with The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, of course, is the author of the Harry Potter series, my favorite series. Of all time and this was her adult mystery debut novel now i haven't been hearing the best reviews of this to be honest it's been pretty getting pretty mixed reviews and i really do want to like it because i love jk rowling again harry potter is my favorite series of all time so hopefully she'll impress me with this book and i have my hopes up the Definitely. next one is for opposites so this is going to be a thriller or mystery it's kind of opposite of what you typically reach for when you reach for those genres so for me i typically like to reach for cozy mystery reads quick and easy to get into but for this i went so with something completely out of my comfort zone i went with horror so the book i chose is the shining by stephen king this is probably one of Stephen King's most famous works. Everybody and their mother has pretty much seen the movie. Personally, I have never read the book, 
and I've never seen the movie. Horror is not just not my thing typically, but I did read Stephen King's book Mr. Mercedes in February and loved it. So I'm hoping that he impresses me once again with this book because it's a cult classic and Stephen King also, fun fact, this has nothing to do with the read line, but Stephen King is also a local author. He's from Maine and I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm going to be supporting more local authors. And the last prompt for this read line is going to be international, so this is, or foreign I should say. So this is definitely a book that has been released in a country other than your own. So personally, I, for me, I live in the United States. And I went with The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by C. Larson. This book, the author is from Sweden. I don't know if it takes place in Sweden, but I know the author was from Sweden. And that's all I know. Again, I'm going into this book, like most of the others, completely blind because sometimes, at least in my experience, these synopsis of thrillers can sometimes give the entire story away. So that's not what I want to happen with any of these books so I'm going to most of them completely blind and that's the case for this book so hopefully I'll enjoy well, that these. book as well said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday all the links to the go host of this readathon along with the Goodreads group will be linked down below along with my social media links so with all that being said I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye